Artmar scaled the cliff alone. His allies were gone, and his heart was broken. Yet he continued to push forward. Loki's curse. It was real. Just as it turned Vasta, it too would turn him. He would fail the forest and his village. Perhaps, he thought, the world was better off with no Vikings in it. But he would not have to fight alone. For in front of him, he saw a familiar pair of tusks which he didn't expect this far up the mountain. Perhaps all was not lost.
Odmar had done it. He had reached the cave the Elder had told him of. He would soon have to face the Golem. The fairy was waiting for him at the entrance. You've proved yourself, said the fairy. You've passed the test. I'll return Vaskar to you, and you can rebuild your village free of that tyrant chief and those who judged you so harshly. Odmar knew this was not the fairy. This was just another deceitful trick by Loki. He was not fooled. Loki shifted into his true form and menacingly said, I guess my trick didn't work. You're not as dumb as you look. But then again, maybe the pig is the brains of this operation. With Loki distracted by the sound of his own voice, his guard was down. This was Odmar's chance. Odmar and his trusted companion charged towards Loki, but were quickly struck down by a bolt of lightning that reflected off Odmar's shield. With the influence of his power, Loki was confident that Odmar would stand no chance against the Golem. He used his magic to wake the ancient Golem and left Odmar to fight for his life. had won. Weary but resolved, he had found the shiny red gem that was the key to saving his people. Odmar held the key up high and waited for something to happen, but quickly realized he didn't know how to use it. Suddenly, a vicious band of goblins swooped down on Odmar. He struggled to hold on to the key, but there were too many goblins. Odmar was overwhelmed. They snatched the key and ran away. Goblins. 
Their treachery had no limits. <laughs>